So it's yeah. not a duck. <laughs> the, the, these look like balloons, of course. They, you know, to the it was to very the mere skeptic, but it, it didn't act flying like around balloons. or you know doing you know the recording that you got. It did nothing like that. It, it was just sort of presenting itself to the space. And right. you can see it move with grace, like, yeah, like grace. a jellyfish. You know, yeah. just just in a nice smooth motion and not jarring motions like balloons do that get caught up in the wind. And um, talk about that aura that you see. No, no, no I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really notice the aura. Oh yeah, I, I, right from the get go. Uh, when we actually got closer into the South Mountains, we we haven't uh, we didn't start climbing the road yet. We were still flat, and as this thing came to us, I noticed it had the uh, a golden orange glow around it. Uh, that's what made it so magnificent to me. Mm -hmm. um, that it was just it was beautiful, mm -hmm. and as it changed uh, 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 shapes, it kept changing. Uh, yellow you know with the yellow aura glow around it gold orange mm -hmm. like i said it was beautiful and, and as you can see in the video it, you know it is and uh until my cousin started praying to our lord J jesus christ and uh, apparently it didn't like it it went to black and white and left mm -hmm. and uh we chased it started climbing the mountain to chase it up the mountain where it, we drove up the mountain but we had lost it it, it, it went over the ridge and yeah, it was gone for us it appeared to me that it went into the mountain like it didn't go any higher than the mountain, it, like the ridge line. That's as far as it went, and it didn't go over the mountain. We went up to the very top of the towers, we just, looking we, around for it to see if it maybe went up. The we sky. lost it though. We lost it, it after uh, it we started was, praying. It looked like it. It wanted you guys to see it. I mean, it came right up to you. It guys. was right above it us. It went right back well, where it came from. I noticed from, it. So I noticed just, yeah. balloons don't do that. No, <laughs> no, balloons don't come to you and then take off and get yeah, to where once you know we spotted right, it. Right. You know, they that's don't just act like that. Common sense, you know. And my and where I used to live, it's at least a mile and a half away from here. So I've seen it from at least a mile to miles away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and saw it from yeah. your house. That's there. when it was so, just a little dot. Yeah, it didn't it was, even have a glow to it. No. It was just a white speck. Yeah. As you can see in the video, it's just a white speck. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we got closer. Boy, when they got closer to us, we got closer to it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty um, much just... It showed its true colors, let's put it that way. Well, did you want to talk to uh, talk about any books or anything that, uh, um, that you think that might have resemblance to what you've seen? I, well, I, a friend of mine from work uh, gave me a book called uh, to read called Alien Intervention by uh, Paul Christopher, and uh, he talks quite a bit in detail in, in passages from the Bible about what the Indians were dealing with, and uh, that uh, you know there's you know Lucifer and his angels, the third of angels that were cast down from heaven. Um, they're able to do pretty much whatever they want here, as far as uh, deceiving mankind and uh, making themselves look angelic. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then again, you know, when, when, it's, when its true self comes out, then it's, it's, it's a hideous beast. Right, everyone you know. will be fooled. And I think that's what happened to these Holocom people here. Right. They, they were fooled into thinking that this was something that's going to help mankind, right. when in fact it was out to destroy mankind. Mm -hmm. And that's what we saw. I think it was out there, I believe it was out there trying to fool us with its beauty. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was. It was. It was magnificent looking. Mm -hmm. um, the, devil, the devil's a beautiful angel. So I mean, yeah, we really God, have he, to be careful here. Them, yeah. uh -huh. We really have to be careful on, on on what we're dealing with because yes. a lot of people, because they think of Hollywood and stuff, that these things are gonna, you know, possibly help us. But well, they're not even thinking about this. They're not even, I mean, it's, we're talking about spaceships with little right, green men in them. Right. Yeah. yeah we're, this is beyond the spaceships. This is not spaceships with green guys. No. We're no. Dealing with human no guys. This is biblical proportion. This is a serious. Yeah. And the same thing that's going on here is going on in Mexico. In Mexico, it's going on in Asia. It's going on in other parts of the world. And uh, I mean, I mean, there's so much going on. You have uh, Puerto Rico. They're dealing with USOs coming out from the water. Right. These orbs. Mm -hmm. And, from the water, yeah. And uh, you know, Mexico City, you know, since '91, when that 1,200 year old prophecy occurred with uh, Quetzalcoatl returning during the Tiger Sun, I mean, there was thousands of people waiting for something to happen, and sure enough, in the sky, they seen something. Everyone from other parts of, around Mexico City seen the same thing at the same time, and they tried debunking it as being Venus, but this was below the clouds of the Right. And ever since then, they've had thousands of sightings, you know, at night during the day, crop circles. Uh, during their Independence Day, you know, they're doing their the tanks and the helicopters and the planes and things come around and just mess with them. You know? mm -hmm. and now it's got to the point where police police officers in Mexico are getting attacked out of you know by humanoids coming out of trees. You know? Yeah, so it's, it's escalating. I mean, it's not a little this that we're dealing with.
and I think they're able to manipulate and, and change to whatever they want. I mean, if they want to be a silver puck, you know, shaped disc, then so be it. But when they show their true form, it's uh, it's black and white. It's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's black and white. Uh, they, they go away. Day. Once you see it, your total yeah. outlook and your total, yeah. re you know, you will. Once you see it and understand what's going on here. Your life is going to change. You will understand what is happening here. But until, you know, for someone else that hasn't seen this yet, it's all balloons to them. So. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's and it's a bummer because, but I know eventually because it's happening and it's happening worldwide and it's getting more and more and more as the years progress. So it's only a matter of time when you will see one also. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And, and your interview and stuff. And as, pleasure. We, as we sit out here in the Arizona hot desert, I want you to take a look at what they filmed. Hope you like it. and religious news, supernatural happenings, unexplained mysteries, conspiracy theories, and special guests along with your calls right here on The Edge Radio Broadcast with your host, Daniel Ott. and stories are vital. The Edge is now making Thursday available for you to speak your views and beliefs to the world. We are committed to giving our listeners a voice 